all welcome back to adhyas news i hope you all are good and staying at home are you not do you know 90% of india is covered with virus so please stay at home and be safe without any further delay let's go into the news oh wait we have adhya information before we go into the news let us know that first admissions are in progress for the groups cc mec mpc and bpc Admissions into vocal courses like aviation and hotel management are also available in Adhya. Last but not the least and the most important, CA Foundation course subject wise classes will come us shortly. Now let me call Divya for political news. Hello everyone, I am Divya Bharadia presenting the Adhya political news. The thread of polarization runs through the results of Assam, West Bengal and Kerala playing out in different ways with the beneficiaries changing in political scenarios where community and ethnic fault lines operate in different ways. On 10th May 2021, Sri Himant Biswa Sarva has sworn in as the Chief Minister of Assam, succeeding his colleague Sarbananda Sonwal. Mamta Banerjee as the daughter of West Bengal has won and Narendra Modi as BJP's charismatic icon has lost in the just concluded elections. The third term mandate and a two-thirds majority despite losing by 1,956 votes in Nandigram in East Midnapur is incontrovertible affirmation of the Trinamool as the party that best represents the ethos of the state and an equally emphatic rejection of the BJP's politics of polarization on the basis of religious identities. Big poll win to boost Vijayan's hold over party. Pinarayi Vijayan bucked the 44-year-old revolving door trend in Kerala to win a decisive second term and improved LDF's performance from the 2016 assembly polls. The CM consolidated his control over CPM in a manner that few other party leaders can claim to have done. Congress President Sonia Gandhi on Friday said the party's performance in the just concluded assembly elections was very disappointing and party MPs must drop appropriate lessons from this setback in the spirit of humility and honesty. Addressing the virtual meeting of the Congress Parliamentary Party, she said the Congress Working Committee would meet soon to review the Assembly election results. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy on Thursday joined BJP leaders criticizing his Jharkhand counterpart Hemant Soren's disdainful remarks about Prime Minister Narendra Modi's telephonic conversation with the chief ministers of the COVID-affected states. The Congress won the by-elections in the Lingoji Guda ward of the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation, D. Rajshekar Reddy, the party's candidate, defeated his nearest competitor, Akhil Gaud, from the Bhartiya Janta Party by 1,200 votes. That's all for this week. Thank you. Stay tuned for further updates. Thank you, Divya. That was really good information about politics. Now, without any delay, let's go to Business News by Ashcharya. Hello, hi and welcome to Business News. JP Morgan to hire 4,000 techs in Indian units. It currently has over 35,000 employees in technology and operations across Bengaluru, Mumbai and Hyderabad. These centers support the investment bank's global operations. Recently, JP Morgan said that bank has committed $2 a million to support COVID relief efforts including the U.S.-Indian Friendship Alliance. Amit Mitra urges Sita Raman to call GST Council meet. West Bengal Finance Minister Amit Mitra has returned to UN Finance Minister Nirmala Sidharam to urgently have a meeting of GST Council and discuss the issue of compensation shortfall to states and other pending issues. 
He said that in order to restore the sanity of council, a virtual meeting of GST council was done October to be convinced. He said not meeting every quarter to discuss vital issue is not in line with the very principle of cooperative federalism. May I point out the many matters that need to be discussed most urgently that GST Council is an alarming shortfall that is expected to compensate to states, said Mitra. SoftBank post records $37 billion profit. SoftBank, which has invested about $10 billion in India over the years, counts Paytm, Ola, Delivery, Policy Bazaar, Goofers and Inmobi amongst its major investments. In 2011, SoftBank made its first investment in India into Inmobi with an initial dollar to 200 million funding. SoftBank version funds too owns more than 42% in mobile advertising platform, which is planning in an IPO in US last quarter of 2021. Logistic firm delivery and online insurance platform Policy Bazaar are expected to go to public soon. Government stake sale will not affect IDBI's plan. IDBI's bank CEO says, Bank will continue to be professionally managed organization after the government stake sale. Its new shareholders will be able to voice their opinions only on boards. Vendors would also have clear RBI's fit and proper criteria before picking up a stake in an ILIC controlled bank. Now coming to latest news, Tesla stopped taking Bitcoin City's fossil fuel use in mining cyber currency. Amazon wins court fight against $303 million order. Court orders Airbus Air France, Air France to stand trial over 2009 crash. SoftBank groups post $45.8 billion net profit, Japan's highest ever. COVID now, Maldives bar South Asian including Indians. COVID-19 vaccines lifts farms company profit. COVID vaccine makers bit, bit now technology reports $1.37 billion profit in first quarter. G7 should invest $1 trillion per year for sustainable COVID recovery. Singapore reduces entry approvals for foreign holding work passes amid COVID surge in India. U.S. economy adds 26,000 jobs in April, far fewer than expected. For more updates, stay tuned to Adhya's News. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Wow, these many things were going around the world regarding business. I didn't know. Thank you, Ascharya. Now let's call Tarshna for sports news. Hello everyone, I'm Tarshna. I'm here to give you updates in sports. Dravid predicts 3-2 win for India in England calls the team's best chance. India will tour Sri Lanka in July for limited over series gangly. Delhi police issues look out notice for Sushil Kumar in murder case. UEFA has issues with CL switch to London Porto a backup. Indian wrestling's image has been tarnished due to acquisitions against Sushil. Younger generation, really talented, confident pistol shooter Sarnobat. Having recovered from COVID-19, Sarnobat aims to intensify pre-Olympic training. Nadal not sure if he will play in Tokyo Olympics. MI fielding coach reveals some Indian players didn't like IPL bio bubble restrictions. Manchester City confirm Premier legal champions. MCC rejects bamboo bat, says it will be illegal. New Zealand wicket keeper BJ Watling to retire. Brazil to vaccinate athletes, coaches for Tokyo Olympics. Release rupees 60 crore for sports university, Punjab CM directs finance steps. Dravid pick cues from Aussie structure created solid pool for India. Greg Chappell. Kohli Anushka's COVID fund raising campaign raises nearly rupees 11 crore. Neeraj Chopra's long wait for foreign training competition continues. Chopra has been waiting since 2019 for a regular international competition. 
India retained top spot in ICC Test Team ranking after annual update. India held the table with a rating of 121 and 2,914 points from 24 matches. Palestine Irfan Patton hits back at Kangna, says he tweets for humanity. Thank you. Thank you, Darshna. Now let's call Bindu for weather report. Hi everyone, this is Bindu Sri here to present weather report. A western disturbance is over east of Ladakh and over eastern parts of Iran and adjoining Afghanistan. A cyclonic circulation is over the south of Pakistan and adjoining parts of Rajasthan. Another cyclonic circulation is over Vidarbha and adjoining areas. A north-south trough is extending from cyclonic circulation over Vidarbha to Kerala across Marthwada and interior Karnataka. A cyclonic circulation is over Bihar and over central Pakistan and adjoining parts of Punjab. A trough is extending from cyclonic circulation to Sikkim across Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. A cyclonic circulation is over equatorial Indian Ocean and adjoining central parts of the South Arabian Sea. That's it for weather report. Over to Kusumita. Thank you, Bindu. So that's it for this week, guys. See you all next week. Thank you. Signing off, Kusumita.